What's good, Virgo? Trust your intuition for guiding you to this first quarter moon in Gemini. Love reading. So this is covering February 27th through March 2nd. And first quarter moons come in between a new moon and a full moon. So we're right in the sweet spot where we're ramping up towards a full moon where things really pop off. And then Gemini energy is all about communication. So this is really the energy of upping our communication, upping our expression. This could be people talking to us more, reaching out, texting, calling, DMing, or vice versa. But let's see how this manifests in terms of your love life, Virgo, for this first quarter moon in Gemini. Let's see what's going on. All right, let's see what's going on for Virgo. For the first quarter moon in Gemini, their love life, clear energy spirit. Talk through these cards clearly. Thank you so much. Let's see what's happening. Virgo, first quarter moon in Gemini. What's going on here? They're telling me to take another cut. Okay. Virgo, first quarter moon in Gemini. What does Virgo need to know? What is it that Virgo needs to know about their love life for this first quarter moon energy? We have reunion. This card stands for re reunion with your family and friends. There is a feeling of harmony and celebration. Significant people from your childhood or past could be coming back into your life for a particular reason. So this could be a past person coming back to reconcile, you know, oh wow, bottom of the deck energy they're telling me to take it out is reconciliation. Okay, sorry energy. You know, it could be you're reconciling with a group of friends too and then you know, someone that you had a previous commitment to is coming in to apologize. Unrequited love. This could definitely be maybe the start of something new with you and someone that previously broke your heart. I mean, there could be a lot of different energies with this. Let's continue, Virgo. Tell me about Virgo's love life. Tell me more about Virgo's love life. So we have the man, okay, could be a, an air sign or a fire sign, and then the knight. This actually makes me think of Sagittarius energy. I think of like the knight of um, wands, I almost said the knight of swords. The knight of swords, by the way, if you wanted to do all the knights, knight of swords is Gemini, knight of wands is Sagittarius. Um, we have the knight of pentacles, which would actually be Virgo energy, and the knight of cups is Pisces. And then the man here. So the man, you know, masculine signs are all the air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and all the fire signs, Aries, Sag, Leo. So definitely could be a Sag coming in or another masculine energy. But what I'm getting, Virgo, is this energy where someone, especially with this man energy, you know, masculine energy is going outward. It's moving towards something. When you think of the extremities of a male and a female, men are outward, women are inward. So this is all about moving towards something. I feel like someone's moving towards you with an apology, wanting to apologize, wanting to say sorry. And maybe they're planning on it, especially if you're planning on some sort of trip with friends if you know you know an old ex or an old flame is going on this trip Virgo I don't know why you'd be traveling with you know an ex but maybe it's not you maybe this person is just tagging along it feels like there is an apology coming in of course this you know maybe it's not going to be you know physically this could be through a text maybe this person crosses your mind a lot they're telling me to take this one out six of wands Leo energy and I'm looking at that hand reaching out. We also have Leo energy coming out with the strength card. So you definitely could be dealing with a Leo. This feels like it's taking strength for someone to reach out and apologize. And then we have the star, Aquarius energy. They're telling me to take out the fourth one. Ace of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like there's someone where it's taking a lot of strength for them to reach out to you, Virgo. It's a, it's really, you know, the Six of Wands, this is a card of winning, a victory. So I feel like in order for them to, you know, reach out their hand, apologize, try to even out whatever's going on between you guys with the star energy. She's evenly putting this energy in the water on land. It's like she's following her guidance. I, I feel like with the Ace of Cups in reverse, this person might expect you to say, fuck off, you know, I don't want to deal with you. We had our thing. It's over. That could be the energy, but I, I really feel like this person's holding out hope for you with the star. The star is all about, you know, hope, faith. It seems like there's a lot about upliftment in here with the knight, the star, strength, the six of wands. 
The Six of Wands is also kind of a redo energy. It's like uh, the homecoming or the victory lap after the battle. So it feels like someone's, look at this, coming around again, unfinished business, it's not over. Patterns, back and forth baggage, it is not over, Virgo. And then we even have someone coming in, looks like with roses or flowers. It feels like someone's about to offer you something um, that feels like this energy between the two of you is just, it's not over. Yeah, intuitively, you know who this is. You felt this person's energy. I feel like they're already sending you messages. We have gut feelings, psychic, premonition, sixth sense. You've probably already gotten readings on this, reading after reading, and this is just yet another reading confirming, Virgo, that someone really wants to apologize but doesn't think you're going to give them the time of day. It's interesting. I just want to point this out. If we look at the star and the Ace of Cups in reverse, it's like someone's offering you an apology and you're dumping it out. That's what I think this person is kind of expecting from you. So maybe that's why they haven't, you know, moved forward and, you know, told you, I'm so sorry, Virgo. Give me something for Virgo through it arms here. What is it that Virgo needs to see? What's out on the star? Cancer. You could be dealing with the Cancer energy. The moon is also going to be moving through Cancer after Gemini. I think it's going to be around um, the 1st and the 2nd of March. So keep that in mind. Cancer is ruled by the moon. The moon is all about our feels, our intuition. You might be getting some intuitive senses about this energy. Let's get a little bit more for Virgo. What is it that Virgo needs to see about the love of their life that wants to come in and apologize? Cancer can also be about the past and memory. So this definitely feels like a past person coming in. We have the sun in Aquarius. Maybe this is someone that you dealt with in Aquarius season. Their sun sign could be an Aquarius. This could also be the energy that, of you know, you guys were friends. Aquarius is the sign of friendship, of unity. And then we have the sixth house. Actually, no, this is the ninth house. Everyone keeps getting the ninth house lately. Ninth house is Sag energy. So this is all about going the distance, moving forward. This person's really like, in order to reach out to you, this person's really like putting themselves out there, Virgo. I feel like this person's like so willing to just like go the distance to tell you I'm so sorry, even if you reject them. So I hope that resonated. If it did, head on over to themoonempress.com or check out for my Patreon. I will talk to you later, Virgo.